Hey there everybody, welcome back to another Bale Mage Nostalgic Day tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty tr simple trick about how to add more than 256 games to your internal hard drive via WinHip. Because uh, I don't really like to use HDL Dumper. It, you know, it, you can only do one at a time and that really just takes forever, especially if you have more than 256 games to play. So first of all, I'm going to show you the error that I have. So you go to uh, select the drive. PS2. All right, and then as you can see, there's 256 games on here. And if you want to add another one, go to add it. You've reached a limit. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to the PlayStation 2 now. All right, so now that we're at our PlayStation, you know, you go scroll down to Launcher L for U Launch L for. ULE, whatever it's called on your PlayStation, and open up that bad boy. Wait for it to load. These PlayStation 2s are ungodly slow. Alright, and then you're going to want to go to File Browser, and then go down to your Miscellaneous or MISC folder, and then from there head down to HDD Manager. you got to wait for this to load. If you already have 256 games on here, it's going to take a moment. Alright, finally that loaded. So basically what you're going to want to do is just rename um, the games. So you're going to go rename and just change the three letters, HDL, to any other three letters. I like to use AAA because it's the fastest way to do it. Okay, rename. And however many more games you want to put on there, you're going to want to change that many names. So the more names you change, the more games you'll be able to put on there. And that's pretty much it. So we'll swap back over to the computer real quick and show you guys that it works. All right, here we back. Here we are back at the PC. Um, obviously, you're going to want to be swapping your hard drive back and forth throughout the duration of this these steps. Um, so I got my hard drive hooked back up to my PC. I'm going to run this as an administrator because you can't see your hard drives if you don't. Open up WinHip, select the PS2 drive, and for time's sake, I only renamed two files, so I should be able to add two more ISOs. See, right now it only thinks there's 254, because their file name has HDL in it, so if it doesn't have HDL, then it doesn't know that they're there. But they still work just fine. And there you go. That's that's about it, really. You know, if uh, if I helped you out, consider liking, commenting, subscribing. If you have any questions about anything else or anything you want me to make a tutorial about, go ahead and drop that down in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys.